Hi, I'm Todd and welcome to Acme Machining. Today what I'm going to make is it goes in place of your oil filter for oil pressure testing. Uh, GM developed these uh, a number of years ago. They can work on any vehicle. Sometimes those oil pressure sensors are real hard to get to, but of course we know I'm changing oil filter every five to 10,000 kilometers or 6,000 miles, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so it's a simple piece to make. You got to cut a groove for the O-ring and a couple passages and some simple threading and then make a hex for the top. So come along, we're going to have some fun today. So to get things started, we're going to cut two and a quarter inches off a chunk of uh, three inch aluminum bar stock. So. bring you back when we get through this and over to the lathe. Okay, so we got our two and a quarter inch chunk, two and a quarter ish. Uh, just going to take and uh, skim up this side, clean her up, flip her over. And actually I'm not going to flip her over, I'm just going to clean up this side and get right into doing one side and when I'm done here I'll flip it over and worry about the other side. So here we go. <laughs> set in the right direction.
there we go step number two simple tool set right on target because I don't have any little nub there next thing I am gonna do is I've got these here little Sandvik tool bits and I use them for tray panning when I have to uh, they, they don't have much underneath here so it gives me some clearance and it's cut away on this side so I don't need to worry about the arc of the cut so uh, I'm gonna get set up and uh, get you into there There's how I align that tool. I just bring it up along the work and uh, get it centered up parallel to the piece so it's going to leave a nice groove in there. So I'll get you back on the tripod and finish things up here. Okay, so I've got one of these actually from General Motors. And uh, this here is for the uh, 22.5 or 22 mil thread 1.5 thread pitch uh, it's I believe from like 2006 right up to the current uh, oil filter on the V8s and what I'm gonna do is I've, I'm making the same thing but I'm changing it to I believe it's a 13 16 by 16 thread pitch which is an odd size but I was able to get a, a, a tap for that from uh, KVC Tool, so I'll be using that. And uh, But first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this groove. And the outside dimension of this groove is 2.758, and the inside dimension is 2.354 inch. So it's it's about a 200 thou groove, and it is... Uh, 1.37 deep so all I'm doing is I'm just going to eyeball this to start with and I've got 275 there and I'm looking I'm in the right ballpark so I'm just going to cut a little bit of a groove and then I'm going to measure the groove and start moving in and out until I get to my depth of cut and uh, then we'll move on to the next step so Let's get going. And we're 269 on the inside so I can come in to uh, 2354 so just gonna zero up my gauge here and I said I was at 29 or 269 so I'm just gonna come in a little bit at a time and just keep on checking measurements
is 281. See, Bozo's already showed up here. So I need to go in about 60 thou. And there, we're 275, and I'm zeroed on my gauge, so I'm going to stick with that. And all I'll do when I'm done is I'll take a 10 cloud skim off the end, and uh, that'll get us back to where we need to be. So I'm zeroed on my dowel. I have a 2 thou groove, or 200 thou groove, 0.2 of an inch. So I am just going to continue to work away at this and get down to some depth here so Five two two. Four two.
much I lost there, but I went to stop the recording and the camera had shut off. So 2.738 and I want uh, 2.758. So I'm going to come out another 10 thou on the gauge on the dial here. <coughs> Point seven five five. That's close enough for an O-ring. Inside two thirty five zero. So I have two O-rings. This one come out of the actual GM one, and this is just out of an oil filter that would fit. So all I've got to do is I've got to cut this down to a little more depth so it can't fly out of there. And uh, I'm also I'm going to take about 10 15 thou off so I'm going to go a little deeper than I need to. And uh, yeah, if you can get these square O-rings they're nice but it's not required. Just go to your Napa store and pick up an O-ring. Or better yet, save the O-ring out of an old filter. These are not put in and left in. They are for reading your oil pressure and taking a reading and getting the filter put back on. Because when this is on, you don't have a filter. But uh, the gauge on a GM product is under the rear of the intake manifold so you can't take the intake manifold off and run the engine to see what the oil pressure is so this is the way we do it and you can do these you can take an oil filter and uh, just spec out the size of the groove and the thread size and stuff like that and uh, you can make it to fit any vehicle you want Okay, so you'll just end up with an assortment of this. This is actually number three for me, so. But, uh, yeah, I'm just going to cut this deeper, and I'll uh, bring you back when I'm to depth, and I get that surface shaved off again, because I, I was a little bit large when I started out the first time, and I just got out here. A little 10 thou big, but it's easy to clean up, because I've got more aluminum there than I need, so. We'll be back. For a minute. Now I start on the inside. I'll turn this off for a minute. Make it quiet for you. I start on the inside because uh, when you're tray panning, the problem is, is you need clearance on the outside of it. Because of course, the inside diameter, as it goes straight down, your cutter goes straight down, the, the arc falls away to the inside. On the outside is where you come into problems with your tool uh, rubbing on the inside of the arc. So I start my cuts on the inside and I work my way outwards with the tool. So I'll try that here hidden hell just for a minute. what's going on because of the I'm get in there again and you can see I just worked my way out okay I can't hold on to this camera and do that so I'm gonna bring you back when I'm done so our groove is
2760. I want it 2758. Two thou over for an O-ring. No big deal. And 2.353 and I was going for 2.354 so again foul for an O-ring not a problem there's your typical O-ring right out of your oil filter like I said just take an O-ring out of a used oil filter it's not like you're going a thousand miles you're just going like you're only going to run this for a minute on your car so now I'm just going to change over I'm going to skim this off because I had the little boo-boo there I've cut this to uh, a 150 depth of cut I had a 10,000 skim so I'll change over my bit and bring you back okay so I've got this here cut to my specs or close enough to my specs the depth is, I got the depth right on at uh, 0 0.137 and I'm just going to drill a uh, 3 quarter inch hole for the uh, 13 16 tap. So I'm just going to get going here. All I'm doing is measuring this one off um, 50, 46 thou over an inch so I'm gonna go about an inch deep I got plenty of material here to work with so I'm gonna aim for about an inch deep WD-40. Hey, if you're in Canada, stock up on WD-40. Our illustrious Prime Minister is making it illegal. Apparently the only thing that's safe for the ozone is jet fuel because uh, he can fly all over hell's creation going wherever he wants, but if we need to drive to work, he's going to tax us to death on it, and he's not going to give us WD-40 so we can get our work done. So. January the 1st you're not going to be able to get it or they're going to degrade the quality of it so it's legal in Canada but uh, get it while you can don't vote liberal <laughs> should get us to our one inch depth
I'm going to go just a little bit deeper here. not going to start so I'm going to get a centering bit and uh, do her by hand. Okay I've got this set up to do by hand. Now as soon as you stick your hand in the machine you want to make sure it's off first. Well, I do not want to be rubbing up against something and hitting the start button with my hands being where they're at. WD-40 makes it easy too. So. I'll bring you back. Okay, I've got the hole all tapped. Just going to do a little deburr right there. Clean that up. Oh, I did have my tools turned off. So. Tap runs nicely. Now, said earlier, isn't aluminum nice when you cut it? I'm going to let the tap hold the work. Spin it on by hand and uh, we'll get things changed out here and uh, do a skim on the outside. Okay, I turned it around. I started, started this earlier, but my camera pressed start and it turns itself off instead of starting. But I'm using the, the tap to actually hold the workpiece now. And I'm just doing my uh, what machining I have to. So what I have to do is I have to turn it down. I'm just going to turn it down to a diameter. I'm going to do the hex on the mill after, but I'm going to turn that down so I've got a wrench spot. And uh, I'll just stick the camera up here and do a little 
returning for you. Indicator up there for you. Not for you, for me.
guess because uh, I can make it whatever size I want. It does not matter. It's not like I'm taking three of these off and need three different wrenches. It's, uh, oil pressure gauge setup is really nice for is if your oil pressure isn't reading correctly on your dash that's from the computer gauge or the dash gauge depending on the type of vehicle that it is and this way you can put leave that gauge in place and do a manual test and see how they compare so you're testing your actual oil pressure sensor We'll keep on going here. between my work and my uh, cutting bit to make a mess so it just the very end of it is doing the last of it so that's great I'm just gonna put a little chamfer on here I've got enough here to uh, do my hexagon in the mill so we'll get that done later and uh, I'm actually pretty much ready to go to the mill other than just I'm just gonna put a chamfer on here so Too warm right now I'm gonna let it cool down I don't want to burn my fingers okay next thing we need to do is we need to drill through here we've got a couple passages to make but this here is a quarter inch pipe NPT national pipe thread and the size for that is 11 30 seconds so I loaded an 11 30 seconds drill bit in there uh, 
There's no real right or wrong place for this. Leave some clearance away from things so you got uh, room to work. And uh, all I've done is I've got it set up in a V-block because round stock holds so much better in a V-block than it does between two jaws. At least this way I got one, two, three points of contact instead of two. So I'm just lining it up with the V-block. Then I'm going to wind her in. And that leaves plenty of clearance for everything. So I'm just going to drill right through. I'm in the center of my vise so I can't hit anything. I'm going to drill right through. That'll be 11 or uh, 11 30 seconds for my 8th inch NPT so I can tap the other side. And then I'm going to turn it up on its edge and I'm going to do this hole that goes right through to inside here. So that makes the passage from here to here and it's blocked off by a plug and it's blocked off by the pressure gauge. So we're just going to drill some holes here. Might as well let the mill do its own work here. Okay, we're through to the other side here. Drill that hole an inch deep. In the center, so I'm just going to put this so this here actually goes down into that hole. Actually, I'll give it an eighth of an inch here. That way it just comes down to the back side of the hole. So, uh, these the threaded part of the oil filter housing can't pinch off my flow.
And I just, I, you see me, I just eyeballed this. And I'm going to let the Mel drill his own hole. Through the first hole. Now, this here one is a quarter inch MPT, and quarter inch MPT is, walking my line of sleep there, 7 /16, so we'll go to a 7 16 screw bit. See what you can see here. So we got a hole clean through the top. We got a hole in through here. Of course you can't see my finger because it's dark in there. But what I'm going to do is I'm we're 7 16 through here. I'm going to open this here 7 16 through to this here. So I've got a 7 16 port of oil from the inside of the filter and the outside of the filter so it's got to pass from here to here so I'll bring you back in a minute just had to pause the video for a minute and get this into the fixture Trying not to have this camera time out. change so I'm assuming I'm through to the other side. Yeah, so now I got a 7 16 hole through here. Got a 7 16 hole through here so I've got 7 16 of oil flow in there which is more than enough. Okay, like I said, we're just putting this in here to test it. Uh, it's not like the engine's going to see 5,000 RPMs. So 
I'm just going to get this set up and uh, I'll get some tapping stuff and we'll tap a couple holes. I'll be back. Okay, my battery's about to go dead, but I'm going to try to get this hole in first. Changing my batteries out and I'll be back. Okay, now the quarter inch NPT tap will not fit in the mill. And there's a second reason I don't really want to do it by the mill is I want to control the depth that I am setting this. Because this plug needs to go in far enough to seal. But I cannot go down and block part of this hole because that is the passage between the inside and outside of the filter so I need to stay up and out of there but went enough to seal and right now I'm a long ways off and I am counting one two three threads So there's the bottom. So half, one, half, two, half, three. See, there's no torque on this. It's just hand tight. And I think I'm almost to the end of my top anyway, so. Half and one. I'm not doing any more at the top because it's uh, don't need anything sharp there. Don't need to be cutting my delicate fingers in the future. I am not in... that's as far as I'm going and I am not blocking the port as of yet so I'm happy with that. That's far enough in for me. Now we're going to go back over the mill. We're going to make a hex wrench fit this. So we'll be back. Okay what I've got here is I've got this set up in my six inch chuck on my rotary table. If you haven't seen the video of mounting that to the rotary table check it out. Some good info there. And I've got 
a simple center finder here. So I can see where the nub was on the lathe. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, run this up. Get the wobble out of it. change that over to a uh, half inch end mill and uh, I'm going to start cutting the hexes but what I'm aiming for is a 13 16 which is approximately 21 millimeters and that is point uh, 825 8125 sorry and uh, yeah I'm just going to figure out my offset here and uh, get a half inch end mill in there and we'll be back. So we got her set at zero now and we'll take her from there. Okay, so we centered this out with the center finder. I'm not making a piano or an atom bomb so it don't need to be uh, right on, right on. Now this end mill is directly centered over the center of this part half inch end mill. Now we want to move it over for a 13 16th hex. First thing we got to do is we got to get the edge of the end mill over. Half inch, so that's 0.25. So I'm at zero right now. I'm just going to crank this over. And I'm at 0.25. So I'm going to zero that. Now the end mill is right on the edge of the center of the part. Now I've got 4125. So that there is 812 divided by 2 is going to be 406. So what am I going to do? I'm looking for 406. Fun to hit that six number, that dead on number when you got tenths on your DRL. But done splitting hairs. We call that zero now. Okay, one more thing I'm going to zero. It's in my rotary table. Eventually, I'm going to get to zero. So I am going to lock that down. I'm going to lock my X down. Conventional milling. Lock my cool down. Let's lock the knee down.
we'll try to stay out of your way. Okay, there we go. Got uh, this one's all just finished up. Just gonna run some. Uh, I'm gonna take it down to the other shop and sandblast it. Make sure I don't have any swarf in it. That'll deburr any of the internal passages. And then I'm gonna run it through a uh, hydraulic line cleaner to make sure that I don't have any crap in it at all before I hook it up to an engine because of course the engine doesn't have a filter but uh, like I said you can make one of these to fit any vehicle you got just spec out the oil filter so you know the thread size and the thread pitch and the uh, size of the o-ring groove and uh, these work great so uh, thanks again for watching please leave a comment hit the like and subscribe and we'll see you next time have a great day